Hello, I'm Joseph Junta, the music director and conductor of the Des Moines Symphony, and I am thrilled to invite you uh, to our All Tchaikovsky program this coming weekend. There are certain composers where when you group some of their important works all together on one program, it seems to make sense. Beethoven's one of those, Mozart's one, and I think Tchaikovsky is also one. Uh, every note of his music was meant to dance to. He was known as a wonderful ballet composer, but even his instrumental music, his concertos, have sort of dance-like quality to them, and that's the magic of Tchaikovsky. This is a piece that uh, Tchaikovsky uh, was inspired on his second trip to Rome. He became quite enthralled with the culture and the people and decided to write this piece in homage to them. It's a piece that's full of dance music and Italian street songs. It starts out with a, a somber sort of bel canto style in the strings with a funeral-like brass instruments playing, eventually morphs into a little street band with just a few instruments, and of course there's a march, and then at the end this wonderful virtuoso tarantella, which brings the piece to a stunning close. It was written and dedicated to the wonderful virtuoso violinist Leopold Auer, but when Auer finally saw the music, he said it was unplayable. So the premiere took place with the Vienna Philharmonic and Hans Richter uh, conducting a young violinist by the name of Brodsky. Viennese critic uh, Hans Lick said that it was not a piece that could be played ever, that it should be shelved and, and never heard again. But a few months later, Auer looked at it again and said, you know, it's not that it's unplayable, it's just that it's difficult to learn. And the story goes that he eventually started teaching the piece and uh, one of his young students with the name of Yasha Heifetz, who of course became a legendary violinist and um, uh, promoted the piece. It became a signature piece for Heifetz throughout his career. People ask me all the time, how do I discover young talent? In this case, Herb Light, who's been a longtime veteran violinist in the Philadelphia Orchestra, called and said, I've got this terrific youngster who just played on our youth concerts. She was 13 years old when she made her Philadelphia Orchestra debut. And here we are, what, five years later. Heard her play in Aspen a couple of summers ago, and she was glorious. So. Uh, I've invited her to Des Moines to play. And this will be a stunning performance that, uh, that she plays with us. Tchaikovsky wrote six symphonies, and each one in their own way is, in my opinion, a great symphony. The first movement starts with two clarinets playing in their lowest register and accompanied by the funeral-like strings. It's a very dark and somber and mysterious opening. It moves into a second movement, the Andante, which is famous for this fabulous horn solo uh, in D major. Strings open in B minor and then the horn comes in and it's, it's the most glorious theme. It, if it's played as well as Brett Seebeck will play it, our first horn player, it transports people to another planet. Uh, just as this theme is sort of opening up and, and getting more and more engaging and interesting, it's interrupted by that fate motive from the very beginning in full orchestra. It leads us to the third movement, which is a beautiful melancholy and nostalgic waltz in a minor key. Um, it's a very short movement, but there's something that uh, has a bit of tension, and it's almost a sinister type effect. And then it morphs right into the last movement, which starts right from the get-go in E major, not E minor, and it's triumphant, this E major fate theme that is absolutely brilliant, that people just absolutely want to get up and and dance in their seats, and it ends in full splendor regalia, and is a wonderful, wonderful way to uh, end the season finale. Well, I can't wait to conduct this program for you and look forward to seeing you all at our concerts this weekend, the 21st and 22nd of May at the Civic Center of Greater Des Moines. It's gonna be a wonderful concert, and I know you'll enjoy it.